Okay, I'm going to do what is hopefully a quick demonstration on how to use the Rigify add-on in Blender. First thing you want to do is go to the File menu, use your preferences, uh, scroll down, go to Rigging, and make sure Rigify is checked off. Now mine is already checked off, so I will just leave it as is. Okay, now that that's added, I'm just going to uh, swap to front view, pressing 1 on the numpad. Uh, Shift A will allow me to add a armature, and I want the human meta rig. Okay, let's just line that up here. Now, it will be helpful to press Z to go to X-ray mode. And you'll also want to be looking at the side view to line it up. Okay, so it I often swap between these views quite a bit. Um, if I want to scale my meta rig up in size, I, I want to go to edit mode. Otherwise, my generated rig will be very small, just like this is here. So I swapped into edit mode by pressing tab. S will scale it up. Let's just bring that up here. And I want to make them a bit wider to fit my mesh. So S again, but this time I'm going to press X to constrain it. So he's only going to get wider, he's not going to get taller. Okay. So I'm just going to deselect that with A. Um, okay, now in terms of uh, matching this up to my mesh, I suggest using the x-axis mirror. Okay. What this does is uh, it'll change both sides whenever I I move a point. So here's my elbow. My wrist. Now when I did this before it didn't allow me to generate the meta rig um, or the uh, yeah, the rig when I deleted this hand bone here. So make sure you keep that. Uh, you can, however, delete the hand, the, the fingers if you like. Because my robot doesn't have fingers. Okay, I'm going to be doing this fairly quickly. It might take you a bit of time to get everything where you want it. Okay, that should probably do. Now, what, what I want to do is go back into object mode. And I can move my rig out of the way now. And press the space bar. I'm just going to type in rigify. And I can see that I can rigify generate rig. So let's try that. So it might just take a couple seconds. And there you have it. There's my rig. So I can use this to pose my robot. This meta rig, on the other hand, I can delete it. So let's press X and get rid of that. Now a couple more steps before we can start posing. The first thing I want to do is select my mesh and then uh, shift right click my rig okay now I need to parent the rig to my mesh so that when I move the um, when I move the rig then the mesh will follow so once I've done that select the mesh first and then the rig control P parent with automatic weights okay 
The next thing I want to do, I'll just deselect everything with A and select my mesh again. I want to go to weight painting. And blue means that there's no weight, red means that there is weight. Okay. Now on an organic type character, like some kind of human or you know, more more humanoid type character, you would probably want some some uh deformation in uh in the arms and legs and that kind of thing when they bend. However, my robot is mechanical. So made of metal. I don't want it to be twisting and bulging too much when I'm animating. So I'm just gonna try to paint as much of this red as I can. Okay, again, this is dependent on what kind of character you have. You can really play around with weight painting. Um, I can bring the weight down on the slider here and uh, and paint it. Okay, so you can uh, you can play around with that if you like. I'm just going to paint mine all a red at a weight of one, just for simplicity. Okay, let's go back to object mode. Uh, I'm going to select my my rig here and now I can go to pose mode and if everything worked properly I should be able to actually pose my robot now so uh, let's have him wave so I'm going to select this uh, rotator here and press R yeah it seems to work I can, ro I can rotate that um, one thing to note is if I press R I can actually constrain it to an axis like the Y axis, make it move up and down. Okay, or the uh, the Z axis, make it move side to side. The X axis will rotate it that way. And that could be interesting. Okay, but I want, I want them to wave. So I'm going to first set a keyframe uh, without uh, twisting it. Uh, I location rotation scale. Now let's rotate it on the y-axis, lift it up, and press I again, um, actually hang on, I want to move down my timeline before I do that, so rotation, now I'll add a keyframe, okay, so you should see now if I press play, it will actually tween between those keyframes, okay, you can also use this for, for legs, so let's grab the knee here um, hang on here I think I want this one here um, okay so I can rotate the leg and again if I press, uh, let's press X this time I can constrain it on that axis so you know if you're making your character walk you might want to keep it on the x-axis, right? So it's taking a step. Um, Z won't be very useful, and Y, maybe not. So that's probably the one you want to use. So you can do a, you know, make your robot take a couple steps, maybe wave. Um, you can get really creative. Uh, you can, you know, twist the body. Something weird is happening with the head there. Not quite sure what's happening. Maybe my um, my mesh wasn't lined up very carefully. I did that kind of quick. Okay, and if you want to move the whole robot, there's this uh, little directional pad at the bottom here, and I can just use this to slide the entire robot if I want to tween him and move him in a direction. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. Um, I will post this robot for you to play with but feel free to use this technique with your own robot.